Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. Here's another video following our progress at Squirrel Hill 2019. This is Brub's feeder as you can see. See the time of year by the lack of undergrowth. We've already got the first visitor coming up one of his logs. And as for previous videos, I've sped this bit up five times speed just to get past the waiting stage so you don't have to be bothered at home the same we are when we're out. There he is on the side of the feeder. I do believe Brev's using the ATN scope on top of his caliber cricket in 177. And that's the view from the ATN. There's no sound on it, unfortunately. Don't be uh, put off by the fact he's not exactly aiming in the dot in the center. There's different aim points he's got for that uh, particular setup. I do believe there's a second squirrel coming in from the right behind the back of that bin in this particular shot. Sometimes causes a few problems. This one sat nicely now with the expected result squirrel on the deck. And here's the ATN footage again without sound. What's wrong with that shot? A few of you have been asking for scope cam. Don't do a lot of it these days. To be honest with you, it's a real pain. I did try some not long back. Didn't have very good joy with it. I'd much rather hold the rifle to my eye. Plus it takes a lot longer to edit. Maybe I will. On another occasion perhaps. When I'm expecting big bags of squirrels, I won't be bothering. Maybe I might do it when I go to a place where I only expect to get three or four. Anyway, this one's come to the feeder. Sat up nicely. And Brad's checking it out through the scope. That'll do nicely. I'm pretty sure he's using the Hunter Extreme pellets again. Normally the pellets do a very good job. Obviously something has happened here. Squirrel's down on the deck, but it's making some noise. Obviously not correct. Needs a second shot. That's the beauty of the headshot normally. They don't tend to run off. That's the end of that squirrel. Slowed this down just to see what happened. Watch this now. Looks like it could have been a neck shot to me. That's what happened there. Just wandered off that fraction. I thought it might have been head movement. You can quite clearly see what happened. There's another one at the tree. Can't see that. I can't remember where it is, but it's not in sight. There it is. You can see you have to aim off there for the distance. I think it was further back. I cut the other piece down just to hear the shot going in. Obviously it wasn't in shot, so there's no point in showing you that bit. Anyway, if that makes sense. Another one's come to the base of the tree. Again, I've sped it up. I do mess about it quite a bit sometimes. This will do though. Looking down the log to the right. Breath took in there. That's a shot. Nothing wrong with that. Here we go again. Sometimes hard to see them approach when the vegetation gets high. But as soon as they step on that log, very easy to see them. A bit more fast forwarding. This one does mess about quite a bit. 
That's the nature of the game. They don't know they're being watched, nor will they. Never mind them, it's back up on the feeder. That'll do nicely. We have another visitor at the base of this tree. I think it's snuck in from behind. I'm guessing Brev must have spotted the approach and turned the camera on. And then it got behind the tree. Another extended fast forwarding session just to show you how patient you have to be. There we go on the feeder. No, it's off the feeder. Here we have one last look at the ATN. That squirrel seven for the day. Bite in the dirt. There's a the calibre cricket with the ATN on top. Not bad there, Brev. Right, this is another solo session. This is Bro on his new feeder position, which is my old one. Obviously, you see it's a bit later in the month. He's greeted by a deer. Scratching its head, maybe trying to take some velvet off the antlers, possibly. I'm guessing that's what it might be happening. Nice to see. Obviously not that far from him in his little pop-up tent that we all use. Well, Brev uses his car mostly, but he's got one. Always a pleasure to see some wildlife. Quite a few deer in the wood. There's hares as well, which I've seen in 2020 after lockdown. Quite a lot of, which you'll see in coming videos. Some of them are quite large. The camera's struggling a bit with the focus here. I'm not sure if anyone hunts a deer in this wood. Probably is some deer management going on somewhere. Judging by the way this one's looking, I think it might have sussed out where Bro is. Nice to see though. I always think it's a massive bonus if you get to see some nice wildlife. Obviously this is Squirrel Hill is run as a pheasant shoot. It's leftovers from the season I do believe. As females come in, pick up a bit of loose grain. It's what they normally eat all year round from the pheasant feeders around the woodland, which is another reason there's a lot of squirrels about. Pheasant shoots tend to attract squirrels, much to the annoyance of the gamekeeper. This particular bird is out of season. Unless you're Mr. Fox, that is. We're certainly not going to shoot her. We haven't got permission anyway. Even if we were in season. We can shoot this fella though. This is exactly why we're here. If you've been following previous videos, you'll know that this was my old position. Bro's now moved into it, and I've moved further around the wood, trying to maximise the amount of squirrels we can remove from this area. We've got a bit of a drive to get here. So once we've decided on the positions where the feeders are going to be, we're happy that we're getting the maximum amount per visit. We'll upgrade these feeders to bigger ones. So we can fill them up, and then we don't have to pop there all the time. And the squirrels can feed happily on it until we turn up. A bit like that one was doing before Bro shot it. That'll do nicely. A 
few lame kicks. See the link in the description as to why they do that. Just nerves. That one's brain dead. Nicely done, bro. This one must have caught bro napping. Tommy's got the camera on. Sometimes they'll sprint in. Sometimes your mind wanders and they're playing on your phone. If you've got a good connection, you end up chatting on Facebook with people, waiting for a squirrel to turn up. The majority of squirrels in this area come straight down the hill. Squirrels up directly behind the back of that tree, right to the top of Squirrel Hill. This location is not far from the rear in pens. I pretty much had a very good time here last year. Did very well indeed. But I ended up taking some of Bro's squirrels. So it meant that he wasn't getting as many as he should do. We've rectified the problem now. There we go. Don't have to actually feed on the feeder itself, they just have to sit still. Makes for an easy shot. That one's kicked off down the bank. He's tracking it with his scope. It's obviously decided it's dead, so just move the camera onto it. Here's another one. As I said before, coming down the hill. Now they come 11 to 12 o'clock directly down the hill. Or sort of like 2 o'clock, 1 to 2 o'clock. On a bit of a diagonal. You can see them coming. There's not a lot of foliage around. Quite a good field of view. As you might have guessed, this one has a bit of a mess about. That sped him up. Sometimes get that with dead bodies on the floor. And no blood doesn't bother them. We pretty much proved that over the last eight years. Or thereabouts, I think. Anyway, this one's up on the feeder. Another one that can't work the lid. Stayed still too long there, fella. Quite a lot of damage is done by the pellets. Correctly positioned onto the head. The skulls are very thin, and the brain's just below it. Still quite a small target, but an accurate shot. You end up with a dead squirrel. Just like that one. And this one appears to have caught Bro out. As it ran down the back of the tree, perhaps. Anyway, he's seen it now. He's watching it with the camera. Sped it up again. I've shot them on this little lid before now. Sometimes they'll spot the hide and sit and stare at it, as is in their nature. This one's more interested in the scenery. You can see those straps have had a bit of a gnawing. They never seem to chew all the way through them. They look like they have a bit of a go, but I think them fibres might get stuck in their teeth. There's plenty of evidence on mine of the same thing happening, but they never seem to chew the right the way through the strap. So I'm guessing it doesn't feel nice on their teeth, or somewhat similar, maybe it's stuck in them. Only a guess though. You're just waiting for this one to sit up nicely. Just like that. Perfect. Straight on headshots are one of my favourites. Can't say the squirrel liked it that much. That's just nerves. It's a perfectly good shot. Nicely done there, bro. Only four, but they all count. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.